One has to love the Gospel of St. Mark. I know, I do. It is the writing of a young man, and as with many a young person, St. Mark is in a hurry to get where he is going, and many a detail which we would love to know is relevant to him. Only the facts important to him are listed. The events in today's Gospel took place in Nazareth, Jesus' hometown, where Jesus was amazed at the disbelief of those who listened to him as he preached in the synagogue. St. Mark simply says he summoned the twelve. No details of how, when or to where. We are supposed to remember that a couple of chapters back in the Gospel, the referred to and so-called twelve were Jesus' closest disciples, otherwise known as his apostles. Now Jesus was not sending his pairs of missionary apostles to far off cities or countries. We know this for the simple reason that they were very soon back to Jesus, reporting on their successes. The places which they had visited were clearly within walking distance, there and back. I always find it most interesting that Jesus told each of them to go only with a solid walking stick or staff as if to ensure their own minimal security against anything or those who would harm them. They were to wear sandals. Was it the case that some of them normally did not? But they were not to bring a change of clothes. For everything else, there was to be trust in God and in those whom they met. And so, the first six pairs of missionaries of the new church, the community of those faithful to Jesus, set off to proclaim repentance. This is quite extraordinary in that one would expect the apostles to first tell all and sundry of the love of God for mankind. But no, it is first to be an urging to regret wrongdoing, an emptying of the soul of its sins, of a stating of remorse for having offended God. It is a missionary appeal to conscience that wrong has been done in the individual's life, and the regret for that wrong, through the medium of God's inspiring grace, will allow faith to flourish. Let us regret what wrongs we have done. Let our faith in God flourish. God bless. Mm-hmm.